So, let us have some interactive problem solving sessions by, by students who have taken this course. Uh, so, you will see some uh, illustrations and examples into problem solving uh, which is useful to understand and digest the concepts learnt during the lectures. So, uh, this problem appeared in MMTSP course in ISC in fall 2016 in the midterm exam 1. So, the problem is as follows. So, consider the space V spanned by the vectors V 1 is equal to 1 2 1, V 2 is the column vector 1 0 1 and V 3 is the column vector 0 minus 2 and 0. So, we have to obtain a basis for the uh, for the space V and also a basis for the uh, vector space V per. So, uh, the solution is as follows. So, we can clearly see that V 2 and V 3 are linearly independent. The reason is that v 2 and v 3 are orthogonal and any two orthogonal vectors are linearly independent and uh, it is also clear that v 1 is equal to v 2 minus v 3. So, therefore, V 1 is a linear combination of V 2 and V 3. So, a basis for the space V will contain the vector V 2 and V 3. So, the reason is that V 2 V 3 are linearly independent and they span the vector space V. So, so as the base the basis contains two vectors dimension of v is equal to 2. Now, the next step is to obtain a basis for v per. So, uh, this v perp, any vector in v perp is orthogonal to any other vector in the original space v. So, let us say let v p be any vector in V pub. So, so let V p let's say it's A B C, where A B C are some real numbers. So therefore, as this V p is orthogonal to any other vector in V, so it should be orthogonal to the basis vectors of V. So, we can write it as so the inner product of V p and V 2 will be 0 and the inner product of V p and V 3 would be 0.
so if we find the inner product we'll, uh, from this two from this two equations we obtain that a plus c is equal to 0 and minus 2 b is equal to 0. So, a is basically minus c. Therefore, any vector in v perp will be of the form let us say alpha 0 minus alpha. So, a basis for V perp would be taking alpha to be 1. You can take any value of alpha, that will be a basis of V perp. So, as basis contains one vector. dimension of V perp is equal to 1. And we can see that this V and V perp together span the span R 3. So, this ends the problem.